द क्लेवर क्रो चिंटू वॉज अ क्लेवर क्रो वंस ही लेफ्ट होम इन सर्च ऑफ फूड इट वॉज अ वेरी हॉट समर Oh I am feeling very thirsty He started searching for water He looked everywhere but did not find any At last he found a jug in which there was very little water He could not reach the water He thought for a while Hmm I have an excellent idea He started picking up stones from around the place and dropped them one by one into the pot till the water rose up soon the water came up he drank the water and happily flew away moral never give up never give up friends however difficult the situation may be there is always a way out use your brain and you will always be the winner okay kids let's learn few new words one by one kids repeat the words after us give up Give up means to lose. Give, Give up means to, to lose. Excellent. Excellent means very good. Excellent, Excellent means very good. good. What was the name of the clever crow? It was Chintu. Correct. The fox and the crow. A fox was feeling very hungry. He was searching for food here and there. He saw a crow with a piece of cheese in his beak. He wanted to take the cheese from the crow. So, he thought of an idea and began praising the crow. "Hey crow, you look very beautiful. Can you sing a song for me? I am sure your voice will be very sweet." The crow became very happy. He opened his beak immediately to sing a song. But the cheese fell from his beak. The fox picked up the cheese, ate it and ran away. Moral: Foolish pride always has a fall. Oh, poor crow. Fox flattered her and with her foolish pride, she lost her cheese. So friends, we must understand what we are. Don't get trapped in flattery and fall by foolish pride. Okay kids let's learn few new words one by one kids repeat the words after us pride pride means a feeling of self respect pride, pride means, means a, a feeling, feeling of self respect foolish foolish means revealing stupidity foolish means revealing stupidity now i will ask you one question what was in the crow's beak Cheese. Yes. The greedy dog Roger was a naughty little dog. He was very fond of bones. One day, while walking across a road, he found a juicy bone. He picked up the bone. Hey, I have found my favorite dish. He started walking back home. On the way while crossing a bridge, he looked into the water and saw another dog. holding a bone in his mouth Roger was very greedy I want that bone too I'll have to get it from him somehow He decided to bark at the other dog frighten him and steal the bone from him He opened his mouth to bark at the other dog which was actually his own reflection The bone slipped from his mouth and fell into the stream Moral Be happy with what you have Friends be happy with what you have greediness is very bad by greediness roger lost his own fleshy bone and now he will be starving okay kids let's learn few new words one by one kids repeat the words after us naughty naughty means badly behaved naughty means badly behaved favorite favorite means a special loved one favorite means a special loved one greed greed means excessive desire greed means excessive desire stream stream means naturally running water stream means naturally running water
What was Roger fond of? Fleshy bones. Very good. Lion and the cows. Once there were four cows who were good friends. They were always together, so their enemies found it difficult to attack them. A jackal who lived on the leftovers of a lion did not get enough food. Hmm, I should do something to put an end to their unity. Then he met each cow one by one when they were a small distance away from each other. Do you know, dear? Your three friends have decided to leave you. They are going to the next field where there is lots of rain. Hearing this, each cow became very angry. Is that so? I will go before they get there. And they went to the next field one by one without telling each other. The lion who was waiting for this chance killed the cows and had a feast. The jackal too happily got plenty of food. Moral: Unity is the power. Unity is the power, my dear friends. When the cows were united, no one dared to touch them. But once they get separated, you have seen yourself what happened. Okay, kids. Let's learn few new words one by one. Kids. Repeat the words after us. Enemy. Enemy means hostile opponent. Enemy, Enemy means hostile opponent. opponent. Unity. Unity means the state of being one. Unity, Unity means the state, state of being one. Grains. Grains means small hard seeds. Grains means small hard seeds. Who helps lion? Jackal. Correct. The monkey's justice. One day, two cats found a piece of bread. One of them jumped and picked it up. The other cat tried to snatch it from her. Meow. It's my bread. I picked it up first. But I saw it first, so it is mine. While they were arguing, a monkey was passing by. The cats requested him to act as a judge and settle their quarrel. The monkey agreed. Give that piece of bread to me. Then he made two parts of the bread. Looking at them, he shook his head. Oh, these two parts are not equal. One is bigger than the other. So he ate a bit of the bigger part. But again the parts were not equal. So he ate a bit from the other part. This went on till two small bits were left. Then he turned to the cats. Oh, how can I give such a small bit to both of you? And he ate them too. The poor cats, they were left empty-handed. Moral: When two quarrel, a third one always gains. Friends, if you fight amongst your friends some third person will take advantage of it always try to solve any dispute by peace never let third person to interfere in your quarrel okay kids let's learn few new words one by one kids repeat the words after us argue argue means to give reasons argue, argue means to, to give, give reasons, reasons. quarrel Quarrel means an angry dispute. Quarrel means an angry dispute. What two cats found? Piece of bread. Hmm, you got it. The crow who pretended. Once a crow saw a beautiful peacock. He wanted to be as pretty as the peacock. So he collected some peacock feathers and stuck them on his body. He looked very funny. The proud peacocks stared at him. That foolish bird! Ha! <laughs> he really thinks he looks like us. They went away. The other crows, who had always been his friends, now ignored him. The crow realized how foolish he had been. He then went to his friends. Oh, oh! Please, friends, please forgive me and be my friends again. I understand how stupid I was. 
I'm very happy to be a crow again. Moral, we must be content with what we are. God has made us with some intention. We must be content with what we are. Yes, the crow can never become beautiful like peacock just by sticking his feathers. Okay kids, let's learn few new words one by one. Kids, repeat the words after us. Pretend. Pretend means to create a false appearance. Pretend, Pretend means to create a, a false, false appearance. appearance. Proud. Proud means feeling self-respect. Proud means feeling self-respect. Ignore. Ignore means neglect. Ignore, Ignore means neglect. Forgive. Forgive means to excuse. Forgive, Forgive means to excuse. excuse. What crow wanted to become? Peacock. Very nice. The fox and the grapes. Jackie went to a grapes garden where he saw a bunch of grapes hanging from a vine. His mouth started watering. Wow, the grapes must be very sweet. I want to eat them. He jumped up to grab the grapes, but he could not reach them. He jumped again and again, but only hurt himself. I'm sure these grapes are sour. I don't want to eat them anymore. And he went away. Moral, don't blame others for your failures. Jackal wanted those grapes, but only because he could not get them, he said they are sour. Hmm, this is very bad. He could have tried more or just leave without saying anything. We must avoid this habit of pretending we do not want a thing when we cannot get it. Okay kids, let's learn few new words one by one. Kids, repeat the words after us. Wine. Wine means a plant with long thin stem. Wine means a plant with long thin stem. Grab. Grab means to snatch. Grab means to snatch. It's my turn again. What was the name of Jackal? Jackie. Yes. A hare and the tortoise. One day, a hare and a tortoise wanted to run a race. All the animals gathered to watch the race. The monkey shot the gun and both started to run. The hare ran off very fast. Soon the tortoise was left far behind. I am sure to win this race. Hmm. I'll take a little nap before the tortoise comes. Hmm. He lay down on the grass but he overslept. The tortoise kept on walking slowly and soon passed the hare. When the hare awoke, he saw that the tortoise was already at the winning post. Moral, slow and steady wins the race. Hare ran fast, but he had no determination, so he lost. Tortoise was slow but steady. He concentrated on his goal and with firm determination achieved it. So, slow but steady always wins. Okay kids, let's learn few new words one by one. Kids, repeat the words after us. Steady. Steady means stable. Steady means stable. Nap. Nap means small sleep. Nap means small sleep. Who shot the gun to start the race? Monkey. Mickey was jumping up and down and playing around. While playing, he fell on a sleeping lion. The lion became very angry. He caught the mouse and scared him. I am going to eat you, oh little one. Oh mighty lion, please forgive me this time. I will never disturb you again. I will surely help you in the future. The lion felt pity for the tiny creature, so he left the mouse, but thought, How can this small mouse help me? 
After some days, the lion was caught in a hunter's net. Mickey saw this and he immediately cut the net with the help of his teeth and saved the lion. Moral: No one is too small or too weak to help another. Never underestimate anyone. Every creature has some qualities. No one is too small or weak to help other. Even a small mice can save a mighty lion. Okay kids, let's learn few new words one by one. Kids, repeat the words after us. Disturb. Disturb means to break. Disturb means to break. Pity. Pity means compassion. Pity, Pity means, means compassion. Tiny. Tiny means very small. Tiny means very small. What was the name of the mouse? Mickey. Correct. The clever donkey. One day, a hungry lion went to quench his thirst at the river. A donkey was also drinking water on the other side of the bank. The lion made a plan to catch the donkey for lunch. Oh, Mr. Donkey, are there any horses on your side of the river bank? I wish to hear them sing. The donkey did not suspect foul play. There are no horses, Your Highness. But don't worry, I will sing for you. He closed his eyes and started praying. The lion caught the donkey immediately, but the donkey was clever. Your Highness, I am ready to become your lunch. But I have heard strong and powerful lions always pray to God before their lunch. The lion was pleased. as he considered himself the most powerful animal so he closed his eyes for prayer the donkey got a chance and ran away the lion was fooled by the clever donkey moral presence of mind is the greatest power mishaps and misfortune are always sudden we must be calm and cool in such situations exactly if we use our brain at right time and in right way we can overcome any trouble okay kids let's learn few new words one by one kids repeat the words after us foul play foul play means dishonest behavior foul play means dishonest behavior brain brain means laugh loudly and harshly brain means laugh loudly and harshly About whom did the lion inquire with donkey? Horses. Very good. The clever cap seller. One day, a poor cap seller was selling his caps in a small village. He was very tired, so he set down the bundle and fell asleep under a big tree. While he slept, the monkeys from the tree came down, opened the bundle of caps and wore them. After some time the cap seller woke up. He saw that the monkeys had taken his caps. So he shouted, "Hey, those caps are mine. Give them back." The monkeys shouted back imitating him. This gave him an idea. He immediately threw his own cap on the ground. All the monkeys took off the caps and threw them on the ground. The cap seller happily collected his caps, tied his bundle and went away. Moral There is always a way out of every difficulty. Monkeys were mischievous and imitating cap seller's act. There was no point in shouting at them. So the cap seller took advantage of the monkey's foolish act and got back his caps. That means if we think carefully, there is always a way out of any difficulty. Okay kids, let's learn few new words one by one. Kids, repeat the words after us. Bundle. Bundle means a collection of things wrapped together. Bundle means a collection of things wrapped together. Awake. Awake means stop sleeping. Awake, Awake means stop sleeping. Who stole the caps? Monkeys. Once two crows 
Bholu and Golu had a fight to prove their superiority. I am more superior as I am bigger in size. Now, I am more superior to you as I am elder. They decided on a challenge to fly with a bag in their beaks. The one who flies higher wins. Golu was a mean crow. He put cotton balls in his own bag and salt in Bholu's bag. The two crows then started flying. Soon Golu was flying higher than Bholu as he was carrying a lighter weight. But Bholu could not fly higher than Golu due to the heavy weight. As the crows were flying, it started raining. The cotton ball soaked in water and became heavier. On the other hand, the salt got dissolved, making Bholu's bag very light. Now, Bholu began flying higher than Golu. Thus, Bholu won the challenge. Moral, cheaters will always be losers. Cheating never lasts, my dear friends. If you try to cheat someone, most of the time you yourself will come in trouble. You can never win by cheating in any game or life. Okay kids, let's learn few new words one by one. Kids, repeat the words after us. Superiority. Superiority means the quality of being excellent. Superiority means the quality of being excellent. Huge. Huge means very big. Huge means very big. Who was the mean crow? Golu. Correct. The two beggars. Mohan and Sohan were two beggars. They used to sit near a temple gate to beg for money and food. Mohan was blind so he could not see. Sohan was lame so he could not walk. One day, a rich man came there. Dear friends, I am having a big feast at my house. I request the both of you to come for lunch. Mohan and Sohan decided to help each other and go for the feast. I will carry you on my back if you show me the way. Sohan agreed. Mohan carried Sohan on his back and both of them went to the feast. They enjoyed the excellent food and returned happily. Moral, we must always help each other. Mohan and Sohan have shown us how to succeed in our goal by overcoming our inabilities. No one in this world is complete or perfect. But if we help each other, together we can be perfect. Okay kids, let's learn few new words one by one. Kids, repeat the words after us. Beggar. Beggar means a person who lives on arms. Beggar means a person who lives on arms. Lame. Lame means disabled in the feet or legs. Lame means disabled in the feet or legs. Blind. Blind means unable to see. Blind means unable to see. Feast. Feast means a ceremonial dinner party. Feast means a ceremonial dinner party. Now tell me, who was blind? Mohan. Two silly goats. Gopu and Ramu were two silly goats. Both of them were trying to cross a bridge. They met in the middle of the bridge, which was so narrow that they could not pass each other. Now, each of them wanted to be the first to cross the bridge, so they began to fight. The silly goats kept on fighting till they both fell into the river and were drowned. Moral, foolishness is always punished. What a foolishness! They could have passed the bridge safely by avoiding the fight. You two must have learnt now. Foolishness and foolish fights are always punished. Okay kids, let's learn few new words one by one. Kids, repeat the words after us. Narrow. Narrow means not wide. Narrow means not wide. Drowned. Drowned means killed by submerging in water. Drowned means killed by submerging in water. 
Now let me ask you a question. Where Gopu and Ramu fought? On the narrow bridge. Hmm. The ugly tree. Once upon a time in a large forest grew many different trees. There were mango, teak, oak, shisham, neem, banyan and peepal trees. Amongst them there was one tree that had a crooked trunk. It looked ugly compared to the other trees and the other trees used to tease him. You are an ugly tree, ugly tree, ugly tree. Oh no, you are such an ugly tree. The poor tree was very sad. Oh God, why did you make me ugly? Why am I not beautiful like the other trees? One day, a woodcutter came to the forest. He saw the crooked and ugly tree. This crooked tree is of no use to me. I will chop down the other straight trees. He cut down all the trees except the crooked tree. Thank God! My ugliness saved my life. We should never blame God for our troubles. God has a reason for everything. Moral? Never blame God. There is always a reason behind His deeds. Our lives are God's gift. He has created us with some qualities for some reason. We should never be unhappy and curse God. Okay kids, let's learn few new words one by one. Kids, repeat the words after us. Trunk. Trunk means the main stem of a tree. Trunk means the main stem of a tree. Ugly. Ugly means displeasing. Ugly means displeasing. Blame. Blame means to hold responsible for something bad. Blame means to hold responsible for something bad. Why the tree was sad? Because he was ugly. Yes, 